Welcome to Electron Line. So, what type of galaxies exist in our universe? And it turns out there are four general types. The first two that we have on the list are spiral galaxies. One of them, the top one here, are regular spiral galaxies. We don't call them regular, we simply call them spiral galaxies. And the other type are barred spiral galaxies. The difference between the two, and here we have some beautiful pictures, M101, known as the Pinwheel Galaxy, is a beautiful example of a typical spiral galaxy. We have a central bulge that seems to be either spherical or elliptical in shape, and have these beautiful spirals that go out from all different directions of the central bulge in all directions. And then we have uh, galaxies such as NGC 7424, when the central bulge appears to be a bar shape, almost like a rectangular shape, and the spiral arms emanate away one from each end of the bar. So essentially what you have is you have a barred central bulge with a spiral arm coming off the one end and another spiral arm coming off the other end. So that's the typical shape of a barred spiral galaxy. It's not quite as clear in the picture, but that's what it looks like. Now it turns out, you can see there's additional spiral arms that go around the galaxy, but the inner structure of it typically looks like this. A good example of a barred spiral galaxy is NGC 1300, NGC 1365, and it turns out we believe that our Milky Way galaxy is also that type of barred spiral galaxy. We think the Milky Way galaxy has a rectangular bar as its central bulge. Then we have what we call elliptical galaxies. Elliptical galaxies essentially seem to be just the central portion of the spiral galaxies without the spiral arms. Now the spiral arms are typically where all the new stars are forming, typically in spiral galaxies, so the central bulge has older stars and there's not a lot of star formation, doesn't have a lot of nebulas there. So if you grab the inner portion of a spiral galaxy, this here is the Andromeda galaxy, you end up with what we would call an elliptical galaxy. An elliptical galaxy, as its name implies, looks kind of an ellipse, and the entire galaxy looks kind of like the central portion of a spiral galaxy. Now that doesn't mean that they're typically smaller than spiral galaxies. We do have very small elliptical galaxies. Matter of fact, this small companion galaxy right here of the Andromeda galaxy, which is known as M110, is a small elliptical galaxy. Notice there's no spiral arms visible anywhere around that galaxy. But there's some very big elliptical galaxies. Matter of fact, M87 is an example of one of those enormous spiral galaxies. That galaxy, M87, has about 40 times as many stars as our Milky Way galaxy. It's essentially 40 times as big. Our Milky Way galaxy has about 250 billion stars. M87 has about 10 trillion stars in it. So we have some enormously large elliptical galaxies as well as very small elliptical galaxies as well. And then finally, the last category is the type of galaxy that doesn't fit in any of the previous three categories. It's what they call irregularly shaped galaxies. And truly, the reason why we call them that is there's no particular shape. They can look like anything. They can look kind of like this, and they can look like this, and they can look like this. It's just no shape to them. And yes, there's two very famous ones, the large and the small Magellanic clouds, those two companion galaxies that are nearby our own Milky Way galaxy at a distance of about 160 to about 200,000 light years away from us. Those are what we call irregular galaxies. They're basically smudges in the sky, no particular shape. And yep, that's why they call them irregulars. They tend to be smaller as well. So those are the four types. If someone asks you how many types are there? Well, there's spiral galaxies, there's barred spiral galaxies, there are elliptical galaxies, and then there are irregular galaxies. And on the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to classify them and kind of compare one to the other for size, content, star formation, and things like that, so we can see what the differences are between the four different types of galaxies. And that is how it's done. <laughs> you know, one more or one type of the other? Uh, it turns out we believe that the ellipticals and irregulars are the most common galaxies. Although the regulars tend to be small, so it's more difficult to see. The regulars? The irregulars. The irregulars.
the irregulars, they tend to be smaller, so it's harder to see. So we get to feel that there's more ellipticals and irregulars than there are spiral galaxies. Is there a reason? Not sure. Not sure. Are they further away? Nope. They're just scattered They're everywhere. kind of everywhere. Yep. Yep. Just, that's why we mean isotropic. The universe looks the same everywhere, same kind of consistency uh, with the different types of galaxies.